onto the world champion Wu and what many people thought a tricky match against American Corey Duo. Well, let's see what Duel has in mind. He's sticking with the same philosophy, and look what we've got. The three and the four ball are jammed together now. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's made a ball, and he's got a shot on the lowest numbered ball, the one, but the yeah. way the table is coming apart for him, he's, he's making his road as tough as he could possibly make it. Yeah. I mean, the thing with thing with breaking like this, Jerry, is it might, it might get a ball in the break and get shape in the one, but all the other are all clustered. Mm -hmm. And he's the one that's got to start running out the table. Right. The difference with Wu is he's smashing the break balls on the break. He's getting a ball, plus he's getting easier run outs. So it's given him the confidence to go around it. Now Corey really needs to be in good stroke to get, I mean, work this white ball. As we can see from that. Yeah, it's coming apart now. The wheel's really falling off for Duel. He's leaving too much hard work to do all the time with this soft break. Well, he is. And, you know, at this point, he needs to blow off this conservative game plan and start getting aggressive. Yeah. He's definitely not playing the right game plan here, Jerry, as you say. And again, he's left way in with another opportunity to extend his lead even further. Although they need to pull out a good shot here. It's a thin cut in the three. He'll try and hold it off a nine ball, maybe. Yeah, I think he can hold the cue ball by running into the nine. If he does that, this table gets really simple. Oh, he could not oh, run he... into the nine, but he was able to hold it by using the five. So That's a very clever shot there. That's a man in confident stroke. Well, just as last year, I am amazed at the seeming seasoning of this young player. It's like he has a world of experience, but he's not old enough to have that experience. Exactly, Jerry, yeah. He just goes out there and th you can see by his demeanor around the table, it's like he's like playing in his home club. He's just easy, free stroking. Just feels at home out there in front of the camera. Well, this will create smiles in Chinese Taipei. Yeah, they're all been rooting for that fella out there. But they'll be frowning in Ohio. The American players are not doing too good this year, Jerry. Is there a reason for that? Did they not like the, the travel? They like well, it's, it's never easy to travel this far, but uh, in truth, it's not that they're doing any worse. It's that the rest of the world is doing so much better. Americans aren't used to being challenged by everyone from around the world. Watch him slam this rack again, no doubt. See what develops for him. And then we're going to go back and talk a little bit about the subject we had in hand before our break. Look at that nine ball. Oh. Well, he can see the one ball, so. Yeah, he's got a stroke on it. As he takes a moment to look at the table, and as we watch that break shot again, we were talking about how just a decade ago, or maybe two, America ruled the nine ball world. Their players were, without a doubt, the best in the world. But then the Filipinos started coming over to our shores. And uh, they began to show that the American players have no lock on nine ball skill. And then some Europeans came over yeah. and they began to progress. And, and now the Taipei, Taipei, Chinese Taipei players have come along. And uh, basically, they have surpassed the Americans now. And yeah. America is the one playing catch up. That's, that's true, Jerry. I mean, uh Everyone in the pool circles have seen all these happen over the last decade, as you see. Uh, all these other upcoming nations. Well, Wu continues. Wu now. 
making his way through this rack. This one, should he complete the trek, will put him on the hill. Yeah, you know, it makes me wonder what section of the world is going to be next to come up with superstars, and perhaps it will be Russia. Well, I wouldn't look further than the UK, Jerry. I mean, there's a lot of upcoming players in the UK are really starting to show their uh, true class in Europe. But they already have. Darren Appleton has made a, a very good statement. Uh, and he's got some friends like Mick Hill. Yeah. I mean, there's there's some strong cues coming out of the UK. Yeah, there's a whole host of players, unknown players to the American and the Asian market. Um, and they really can shoot a good, I mean, ball, Jerry. And they've got the confidence to go with it. Yes, they do. They're very cocky. It's nice yeah. to see. It, it, this game requires cockiness and confidence. It's, it's, it's not as such as uh, cockiness. It's, uh, it's just, like you say, confidence round the table, and it might come across as being cocky. But you've got to, you've got to have your inner self-belief in this game. Uh, most any sport, you've got to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, you'll never win anything. And the UK players certainly believe in themselves. Absolutely. Carl Boy is another fine player from the UK. Yeah, there's a whole host of them. And we can see here another young one from Taipei here. But yeah. really, the UK's had a presence for a while now. I mean, Daryl Peach has been out there. Rai Chandel, Imran Majid. Absolutely. And before them, uh, Steve, Steve Knight. Steve Knight. Right. Yeah, he was, I mean, he was the one that brought nine ball to the fore in the UK. Steve has changed passions now. He's over in the, the world of poker. But back to our match here. Wu just about ready to step on that hill. And that's where he is. He has been completely impressive now. After the early days of this match, he has settled down and he is playing one solid game, a nine ball. He may be the first man to repeat his world champion if he keeps this up. I think that's four or five breaking runouts now, Jerry. Yeah. Using the, the smash break. Yeah. And I mean, he's, he's not letting Corey at the table, which is giving Wu all the confidence in Corey's. He's not getting his table time, so he's not feeling as confident. And when he is getting in, he's getting all the hard work to do all the time. Right. So. Well, let's see what kind of challenges Corey presents himself with this time. I can't see him changing his route. He'll stick to the same game plan, I think. It's too late to change yeah. now. Down it, nine to two. Or he may do it out of frustration. Who knows? Number 12, to break. Yeah, you have to say he put himself in this, this situation. Yeah, for and, sure. And he didn't adapt to the break. No chance. I hope he misses eight You heard Corey say, I've got no chance. I've got to hope he misses eight times in a row. That's what I was commenting on earlier. Have a seat. Well. That's the trouble with now. When he loses that one ball in the centre pocket, Jerry, he's got to rely on a little bit of luck, and the, the two balls just come up, glanced off the cue ball, and gone over towards the side rail. And nothing looks easy from here. Yeah, nothing easy at all. Even if he were to bank that two ball back into the side pocket is a very tough road to get on that three ball. The three ball is the red ball beside the nine ball down here on the bottom of your screen. There's a lot hiding it so. Corey making the correct decision here to play a safety. He's played a nice shot there. The crowd trying to lift the spirits of Mr. Duell. I don't think anything can do that though right now. That's a no, sick feeling. Yeah, it certainly is. You're sitting in your chair, knowing that it's a well monster task, really. When a guy like this is playing against you so well, you really don't feel like you can hear from Corey's comments. I don't see this guy missing in eight or nine racks. No, it's one thing to get beat. It's another thing to get completely blown away. Good shot. Look right. at this shot. Wow. What a beautiful shot. Not only did he jump over the seven and make contact with the two, but he put some good control on the white to get it right behind the four ball. There we see it again, Jerry. 
Look at this. This fellow's just got it all in his bag. What a super shot. Please remember now, Wu leads one of the great players of the world, nine to two. Corey Duell is a champion in his own right, a U.S. Open champion, a feared player, but nothing going his way now. No, he's left it. He's, he's made a good hit there, but I think he was trying to take a two behind the five and hook him on that, but it's caught the five ball. But he's been, uh, he's got a little bit of work to do here, Jerry. He's not got an easy roll in. Well, that three ball's tricky. He's gotten some work done before. He's looking here to cannon into the five, leave him on the three. Let's see if he gets the rolls going for him here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what can you say? He's got that cue ball on that string. <laughs> Other than uh, he's getting ready to put Corey out of his misery. Yeah. That was a beautiful shot there. It certainly was. What control. The only problem I foresee here is the four to the five. He probably need to leave a thin cut on the five to come out to the middle of the table for the six. They just keep it simple here. He won't try and run that white off three cushions for the five into the opposite bottom left. He'll just drop this four in, bring the white out to the centre. Once that five ball goes, this that's really the last challenging shot, the five ball. Well, he's going for three rails here, Jerry. And he's nailed it. Wow. That's a sign of confidence. Well, when you've got it all, you might as well use it. Just looking where he had to have shape there on the six ball. Just needs to roll this into the corner. Just composing himself, making sure. Well, Wu has certainly shown why he's the defending world champion. Ooh! I said, as he missed the shot and brings Corey Duo back. It's not over yet. Whoa. He missed. <laughs> I can't believe he missed Corey, says yeah. Well, Corey figures he might as well have a little fun now. I'll probably miss. It's a little bit of tension there in Wu's arm when he's seen the finish line there, Jerry. Yeah. Happens to all of them. But it's Wu's break coming up. Corey just having some fun with the audience. Yeah, he's... he's He's been chatting now. And who blames him, Jerry? He's not really been much in the table playing much. Worse kept him nailed to that seat. I imagine the audience is going to give him a good round of applause here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still chatting away. Yeah, he said, this is the last nine ball I'm going to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Very kind crowd gives Corey Duell a bit of a lift. But that's a tough situation to be in out there on international TV. He played everything perfect there, Jerry. Right up until this five ball. Now we see it again. Corey can't believe it either. <laughs> well, it can sometimes serve a player well to miss a ball like that. It teaches you to keep focus. Mm. Here we go with the power brick again here, yeah, Jerry. Here, here comes the cannonball. Oh, wow. He put some in this. Watch this cue. Watch it bend into the table. Well, he lifted it up that time, but... You know this is not as good a result as he's had in the past because he lost that cue ball behind the rack. Yeah, he's not really got good shape there. I think we'll see him play a good safety here, try and hook him behind a couple of balls, send the white up table. Yeah, he's got quite a an easy safety play indeed here. 
would like to marry that cue ball to the two. Oh, he's trying for the marry to the six. He's left a little distance there with which Corey can work. Can only see one, one escape right here, side rail. Yep, a single rail escape off the rail on the right hand side of your screen. Corey's just checking out which side he wants to make contact with the wind ball. No, he can go to the left hand rail. He's missed it. Uh, Paul. He's tried to. Gently slide off the one ball there. Kick it onto the five and hook him behind the three. He's just marginally missed the one ball. Giving Wu ball in hand. Well, in truth, he hasn't spent enough time at the table to really be able to have a good feel of the rails. Yeah. You're right there. Wu's kept him nil to that chair. He's got a tricky run out here, though. With the two ball down near that rail and the three up the far end. He needs to get good shape from the one onto the two to be able to make this an easy run out. He's just working out his options. Well, I'm sure the option he's working on the hardest is the one you just mentioned, getting on that three ball. He doesn't like to look at that two down the rail. Well, he always has the option of playing another safety here and letting the table develop further. I don't think these young players like to let others back at the table, Jerry. That's true. They like to shoot themselves. That's true. He's left a big angle here. Lots of angle. I don't think that's what he wanted. He can't run it three rails down the bottom. And if he screws back with a bit of side, he's not going to get shape on that three. He might just try and slide the two in, use a six ball to hold for the, a long three. Well, he could, or he could bank the two ball away and hide behind the six ball. Wow. Or, for oh, wow. or he could carry him to nine, but oh. that didn't work. That was an audacious attempt at the nine ball there, Jerry. It really was. Well, Wu has never been short of courage. That would have been a monster shot to finish a match. Yeah, and look what he's left Corey here. No open pocket. Well, he's under that there. We're talking about the table team there, Jerry. He's not going to pace at the table because he's not been playing in it much. Right. And he's left with a chance here. Well, I think in his heart, he's also ready for this to be over. Yeah. He realizes with the format now that it's a really too much of a task, especially with Wu's capabilities and the break. Wu still with a lot of work to do here, though. Getting from the two to the three, just making the two ball by itself is not the easiest thing in the world. It just wow. makes it easy. <laughs> he sure makes it look easy, doesn't he? And he's got great shape out on the three ball. I think he'll be playing the six nine here, Jerry, to tie up the match. Oh, sure. He doesn't want to mess with that seven ball. No. I think Corey will be joining Errol in the plane home soon. It all comes down to this. Six ball into the nine ball for Wu to continue through. And indeed he does. Our former champion, Wu Chia Ching, has made it through to the last group of 32. Corey Duell. Well, a very disappointing evening for he. He has lost 10 to 3.